what's happening, people? So, Sony PlayStation, Sony PlayStation apparently decides they now want to say what's wrong with the company. I've been saying these things for a long time. I've been saying the PS4 has been slowing down. I've been saying PlayStation View isn't good. I've been saying PlayStation Now sucks. And I've also been saying VR is not as impressive as they once wanted you to believe. These are things I've been saying. Sony just admitted these aloud. Although they're saying that the uh, cycle in which the PS4 has lived is coming to an end. Now, it's no surprise to me that the PSVR is a failure. It's no surprise. VR was a flash-in-the-moment thing. Sony, you don't even promote your own shit if it isn't PS4. I've said that before. I've said PlayStation has a problem supporting anything that isn't PlayStation. That means if it's not the core console, if it's not a... I'm just looking for some physical thing like this is a physical, you know, holder. If it's not a physical thing, and if it's not, here we go, and if it's not their core system for whatever moment, this is the PS1, this is an authentic PS1, bam, back and everything, removable, if it will come on, shit, where is it? There we go, fucking things can possibly go, there you go. Um... So, what is it that even the, I think the thing's in here for, no, I don't see the little Japanese thing that you're supposed to hold. Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's in the back. Anyway, that aside, that aside, if it's not related to that, Sony has never been good at promoting it. They've never given a fuck. If it wasn't something like this that connects to your television, they don't care. Sony doesn't care. They have a VR headset. They don't promote it the right way. They had the PlayStation Vita. They didn't promote it the right way. They sure as shit didn't make it customer friendly. These are their own products. The only thing PlayStation has been promoting this entire generation remotely the right way is the PS4 system in of itself. That's it. And they're lucky that they didn't have to do much. PlayStation didn't have to do a hell of a lot to win this generation, let alone promote the PS4 to be winning. It wasn't like they were going up against fierce competition or a real competitor. They just weren't. I mean, PS4 was going to succeed as long as what happened, happened. As long as Xbox didn't still come out with a system with better everything. I don't mean hardware power. I don't mean performance power. I mean, as long as their system just wasn't better. We knew it was going to have a Blu-ray player in it. But as long as PlayStation had the ability to go, our presentation, our entrance into this generation isn't as bad as... And no, it wasn't Nintendo, it was Microsoft. As long as PlayStation said, hey, please don't let them go completely ape shit and let them have some shit that's going to piss someone off. Xbox did exactly that. And PlayStation goes, thank God, we don't have to work that damn hard. All we got to do is say we're doing everything opposite of them and people are going to buy our product. Sony, if you had to have worked this generation, I don't know if you would have been able to survive this generation. That's just me being honest. If you didn't have to work, meaning right now, which you haven't had to, you haven't really had to do anything. When did Xbox ever come out and beat your ass in a month before the Xbox One Slim? It didn't happen. When did the Wii U ever outsell you? It didn't happen 
What was your main competition when you first entered this generation? Nothing. Because Xbox fucked themselves. Had Xbox not done that, oh, you would have had to work your ass off. And believe me, all them customers you have, more than half of them probably wouldn't exist. You wouldn't have the high sales number. And not because, oh, that's bullshit. Everybody from Xbox was jumping to, you know, PlayStation. No, not really. Yes, their sales increased towards the end because a lot of people wanted to just see if they could, you know, mod their own system because it became evident that Sony cared nothing about security. Imagine had that been the case this generation. Xbox came out with a strong console with a really good strong first party lineup, which didn't happen. Those two things didn't happen. Let's just imagine that happened, Sony. Do you really think all the security breaches that you've had this generation, do you really think the tacking on of $60 for PlayStation Plus would have flown so smoothly? Do you really think those jumps would have been something people would be cheering you for? No. Because you would have a real competitor. Right now your real competitor is Nintendo Switch. As fucked as that may sound, just compare the Switch to the Xbox One. And I don't mean power. I don't even mean the games. Just compare. Which one would people rather have? Do you want the Xbox One? Or do you want the fucking Switch? Even in today's market, people would much rather have the damn Switch. Okay? Because the Switch has got more promise behind it. Not because it's more powerful or any of that. Because in reality, the Xbox is... Just what it is, the Xbox. Um, it doesn't offer a whole hell of a lot of anything. And at best, you're buying like 4K Blu-ray players for easy money. Um, so, had 2013 happened different, PlayStation, I think a lot of what's going on with you and a lot of what have what has been going on with you wouldn't be as so forgivable let alone would it be something you would have done you might have come out with all them damn exclusives regardless but would it have actually helped to have all them exclusives had xbox come out with a promising first party lineup and a promising overall console experience i doubt it but the fact that now as a company you're admitting what I've been saying, which is VR isn't doing a damn thing for you. It sits at under, uh, it's still, I'm sorry, I know I've said this several times, but it sits under 10% of your current um, core console owners. If it sits under that percentage and it can't make it at least 10% each year increase, what's the point? Okay, I'm sorry that might offend people, but what's the point? If the PlayStation 4 is so hot, why can't the accessories be? Well, when you have a company like Sony who doesn't promote those accessories the right way, because PS4 can be coming to a physical life end as the system itself, but Sony, you created peripherals for this thing. You created accessories for this device, which are not even close to death. VR has a little future, a small glimmer of hope even coming back. The problem is, in order for you to get that, you have to promote it the right way. This means promote the physical console add-on itself with the VR headset. Promote VR games in a separate commercial. As if you're purchasing a separate device. You have to do that. Even if you have to put in small print at the bottom, works on PS4. Reason to buy. Even if you have to make up some bullshit like that on the bottom of the screen. You have to sell VR in a VR commercial with interesting VR games. Those just don't exist. 
okay? The fact they don't promote it is the reason it's failing. The same reason the Vita failed. Promotion wasn't really there. Even though the games were there, even though the software was there, the promotion was not there. They just didn't have regular Vita commercials like that, okay? Their, their way of handling their accessories, and yes, handhelds in PlayStation are accessories. They're not a main focus. They're just an add-on of some, cor some sort. They're, they're never the main focus, and that's why Nintendo wins at the handhelds. Nintendo knows how to promote its handheld while also promoting its core console. I mean, think about it. You can see a 3DS commercial and then turn around and see a Switch commercial, or you could do the same thing with the Wii U and even the Wii. Okay? You can see a Wii commercial here, and then like five minutes later, bam, there's a 3DS commercial. Two separate devices. PlayStation, you have got to be willing to push these products you have to be willing to market these products as such even if it says in the background playstation 4 sold separately you have to promote the product as if it's its own individual product with its own individual experiences and playstation unfortunately you have not done that you have failed people know what the vr headset is but you have not promoted it the right way at all i know a list of games five six tops and that's it I don't know anything else that's come out on a VR headset because they don't promote it. They don't. The last VR commercial I saw, I saw was for Farpoint. What's come out since? I don't know. If you're really heavy into that community, there's about 3 million other people in it as well in a community that is inside of the PS4 community that is over 70 million. Do you see the problem there? <sighs> People were saying the PS4 could sell hundreds of millions. Meaning, you know, like 100 and 510, 115 million units. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Because PlayStation 4 overall has too many accessories. VR headset and the Vita are accessories to the PS4. There's too many models of the PS4. And I don't mean the little decorative special editions. I don't mean that. I mean there's too many models. Yes, you took off the 2013 model, which is what I have back here. But you can still get those models. You know what I'm saying? So you have the 2013 model, you have the slim model, you have the pro model. Three models of the same one console and only the pro is like a legitimate difference between the slim and the damn 2013 model. Okay? It's not like at Xbox. Where over, that, over at Xbox, the 2013 model has got a basic Blu-ray player in it. And one terabyte tops internal storage. Then you go to the Slim. The Slim has a 4K Blu-ray player in it. Obviously a notable upgrade. No power brick. Slimmer model. It can actually physically stand up. There's things that are noticeably different between the 2013 to the Slim. And even on the Xbox One X, there is noticeable difference. Okay. So... PlayStation, you literally stunted your own growth. Yes, you could have had over 100 million cells. But due to the fact you stunted your own system and its own growth because you don't know how to advertise it, you know how to advertise PS4 because you see those games every damn day. Oh, come get Uncharted on PS4. Come play God of War on PS4. But they don't stand out with multiple commercials Promoting each gener like each iteration of this console. Like God of War on PS4 Pro doesn't have its own commercial. It's in the same commercial as the Slim and the Pro. Two different devices that need to be advertised two separate ways. You have a basic Slim and then the Pro. And then you have the VR headset. That is three items in which you need to have three separate commercials. And you don't. 
because that's advertising that's money and unfortunately Sony just doesn't make as much as they used to and the way they were hoping to kind of sidestep that was with PlayStation Now which unfortunately never got the number Sony wanted then you had you know um, PlayStation View which unfortunately to Sony come out saying there's there's just so much competition you're you're offering cable like streaming cable not even controlled streaming cable which is what Hulu is Hulu is controlled streaming cable meaning you pick the show you want to watch when the fuck you want to and you don't have to chan you know channel chase you don't have that much competition. You have on demand to, you know, fuck with, but your PlayStation View is basic cable. Like, it's literally turning the PS4 into a cable box. You have really no competition for that. Okay? And if you're putting it in the same boat as Hulu or Netflix or even Amazon, you're an idiot. It's not the same. Those are on demand devices. Not cable at all. Yes, you can watch cable on Hulu, but it's not at the time it's released. It's 24 hours later, maybe even a week after the damn thing aired. With PlayStation View, it's live cable at that moment. See what I'm saying? And with Hulu, you're not choosing a network unless you go into a sub menu because you don't know where the damn show is. Because you didn't just want to type it in. You wanted to go search each network to show you where these shows originally aired. Okay, it's not like you type in uh, 1068 and bam, you're right at like the CW or some shit. You see what I'm saying? It's not the same. You're not even the same fucking box. PlayStation View failed because you failed. You gave up on its advertisements. You can't just stop advertising shit. People will eventually catch on, but you have to continually push these things. Okay? But they were hoping to sidestep a little of that money loss with adding in View, PlayStation Now, paying for PlayStation Plus. Unfortunately, all these little side things that were supposed to make them money just didn't work. Yes, PlayStation Plus people pay for, but that's generally about it. So, I just think it's funny that it takes them a whole life cycle to come out and say the same shit that I've been saying this whole time. PlayStation View is a fucking joke. PlayStation Now is a pathetic joke, but it's a joke. Paying for PlayStation Plus is only caught on and only people willing to do it because of the 2013 Xbox disaster. You can hate me for saying those things and you can disagree with me saying those things, but when you have PlayStation admittingly open now that PlayStation View sucks and hasn't done predicted numbers, PlayStation Now hasn't done what it's supposed to do, VR is not where we want it, excuse me, to be. Then you just don't like the delivery in which I say it. That's fine. You don't have to. I'm just sitting here going, I've already known these things for a minute. I talk about them consistently. I haven't lately, but now that they're admitting these things, maybe they can take the PS5 more seriously and not just go, please someone fuck up, because next Xbox full generation, you might not want to fuck with. This one sucked, yes, but if Xbox has another generation, you can bet they're going to focus and they're going to bring their A game. Because if they want to go into another generation, believe me, third place is not going to be an option. I guarantee you that if they decide to, third place is not going to be an option. They will probably recycle the people who work there now 
Uncle Phil, I'm looking directly at you to get where the system should have been this whole time. I don't see Xbox coming out with a, we're going to release another console and stumble all through the shit like they did this one. So, PlayStation, if you want to do a PS5, I don't care. But if you do, take some notes from the Xbox One when it comes to what's in it. Not how they're doing, you know, sales and shit. I'm talking about what's in it. Because the fact that they made it standardized for 4K Blu-ray in the consoles means something. If you don't take that serious, nobody else will. And if you don't want to put 4K Blu-ray in the PS5, then do exactly like um, everybody's been saying and go all digital. Only be ready for a really rocky road. I mean, that's going to be damn near sink the Titanic bad. Because, while yes, I'm already a exclusive digital consumer on Xbox One, I'm looking at your history within your memory. Um, you're going to have to step it up. So, all that info, you know, just kind of take it in at your own pace and see, you know, what you think. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think with uh, Sony coming out and saying that they're pretty much upset with shit that I've been upset with for a long time. And... Um, if you're new to the channel at all, you know, hit subscribe, um, hit the like button. I don't know why in the fuck, I don't say that that much. I don't think I've said that in a few videos. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.